Have you ever wondered where white skin came from? It is one of those questions that pops up when you start thinking about why people look the way they do. Some folks have dark skin, others have light skin. And if you're from Europe, chances are your skin is on the lighter side. But why? And here's a twist. Did Neanderthals, those ancient relatives of ours who lived in Europe long before us, have anything to do with it? It's a cool idea to explore, and the answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. Let's take it step by step and figure out what science tells us about this. First, let's talk about who the Neanderthals were. Imagine a time about 400,000 years ago. While our ancestors were still living in Africa, another group of humans, Neanderthals, were already making their home in Europe and parts of Asia. They were strong and sturdy, built to handle cold weather and tough conditions. They hunted big animals like mammoths, made stone tools, and even took care of their dead in ways that suggest they had some kind of culture. They were around for a long time, but about 40,000 years ago, they vanished. No one's totally sure why, maybe climate change, maybe competition with us, but before they disappeared, something interesting happened. Around 60,000 years ago, modern humans, that's us, Homo sapiens, started leaving Africa. As they moved into Europe and Asia, they bumped into Neanderthals. And here is where it gets wild. They didn't just wave hello and move on, they mixed. Modern humans and Neanderthals had kids together. How do we know this? It's in our DNA. If you're not from Africa, you've probably got about 1-2% to Neanderthal DNA in you. That's a little piece of those ancient cousins still hanging out in us today. So with that mixing in mind, could Neanderthals have given Europeans their light skin? To answer that, we need to dig into what skin color is and how it works. Skin color is all about melanin. That's the stuff in your skin that gives it its shade. The more melanin you have, the darker your skin is. The less you have, the lighter it gets. But why do we have different amounts? It's tied to where people live. Near the equator, the sun's rays are strong. Lots of melanin, darker skin, protects you from getting too much UV radiation, which can damage your skin or even cause cancer. But up north, where the sun's weaker, you don't need as much protection. Instead, you need to let in more UV light to make vitamin D, which keeps your bones healthy. So over thousands of years, humans adapted. Darker skin became common near the equator, and lighter skin showed up in places like Europe. It's a neat trick of nature, balancing sun protection with vitamin D. Now Europe's pretty far north, so light skin makes sense there. But when did Europeans get light skin? And did Neanderthals, who'd been living in Europe for ages, help make that happen? To figure this out, we need to look at genes, the tiny instructions in our DNA that control things like skin color. For Europeans, two genes really stand out, SLC24A5 and SLC45A2 cell. These genes are like dimmer switches for melanin. When they're set a certain way, they tell your body to make less melanin, and you end up with lighter skin. Almost all Europeans today have a version of SLC24A5 that ES linked to light skin. It's a big deal, but here's the catch. That version didn't come from Neanderthals. Wait a second. If Neanderthals were in Europe first, and they might have had light skin too, didn't they pass it on to us? Not quite. Scientists have looked at DNA from ancient humans in Europe, and it tells a surprising story. Take a guy from Spain called Labraña. He lived about 7,000 years ago, long after Neanderthals were gone. When researchers checked his DNA, they found he had genes for dark skin, even though he was in Europe. But then, up in Scandinavia around the same time, about 7,700 years ago, people had genes for light skin. So it's not like everyone in Europe flipped to light skin the moment they arrived. It happened gradually, in different places, at different times. That SLC24A5 gene, the one tied to light skin in Europeans, started spreading widely about 8,000 years ago. That's way after Neanderthals disappeared around 40,000 years ago. So how could they have given us something that only became common thousands of years later? It doesn't add up. But hold on. Didn't we say we've got Neanderthal DNA? Couldn't some of that affect skin color? Yep, it does. Just not in the way you might think. Neanderthals had their own genes that influenced skin color. One of them is called MC1REALT. This gene, S a big player. 
it s linked to red hair and lighter skin in modern humans. When scientists studied Neanderthal DNA, they found some had a version of MC1R that might V given them pale skin or even red hair. And here's the cool part. Some of those Neanderthal MC1R variants are still in us today. So yeah, Neanderthals did toss a few skin color genes into the mix, but it's not the whole story. Think of it like this. Imagine you're making soup. The main ingredients, veggies, broth, spices, come from your own recipe. That's like the genes modern humans developed for light skin. But then you sprinkle in a little seasoning from a friend's stash. That's the Neanderthal DNA. It adds some flavor, but it's not what makes the soup taste the way it does. In the same way, Neanderthal genes added some variety to European skin color, but the big shift to light skin came from changes that happened in modern humans later on. Let's zoom in on that SLC24A5. Gene again. Scientists figure it's about 28,000 years old. That means it probably showed up in modern humans after they'd already mixed with Neanderthals. When they check Neanderthal DNA, they don't see that same light skin version of SLC24A5 and bite. So it looks like modern humans came up with it on their own. But what about Neanderthals? They'd been in Europe for hundreds of thousands of years. Didn't they have light skin too? Probably, yeah. Living in Europe with less sunlight, they likely evolved lighter skin to some degree. Studies suggest they had a range of skin tones just like us, maybe lighter in some places, darker in others, depending on where they were. But the key genes that make most Europeans light skin today aren't the ones Neanderthals had. Modern humans cooked up their own recipe for light skin after they got to Europe. Here's how it likely went down. When modern humans left Africa, they probably had dark skin. As they spread out, they adapted to new places. In Europe, that meant evolving lighter skin over time. Neanderthals were already there, and sure, they contributed some DNA when the two groups mixed, but their contribution to skin color was more like a small boost, not the main push. Let's compare this to East Asians for a second. They've got light skin too, but it comes from different genes than the ones in Europeans. And get this, East Asians actually have a bit more Neanderthal DNA than Europeans do. Yet their skin color evolved in its own way. That's a clue that Neanderthal DNA isn't the big driver of light skin. It's more about how each group of humans adjusted to their surroundings over thousands of years. So did Neanderthals make Europeans white? Not really. They chipped in a little, sure, with some genes that affect skin color. But the major changes, the ones that turned European skin light, happened in modern humans after they settled in Europe. It's like Neanderthals handed us a couple of tools, but we built the house ourselves. What else did Neanderthals give us? Plenty. Their DNA pops up in all kinds of places. It affects our immune systems, how we fight off diseases, even how our skin handles sunlight. For instance, some Neanderthal genes make us more likely to burn in the sun or have trouble tanning, so they definitely left a mark on how our skin works. But when it comes to why Europeans have light skin, it's mostly a modern human story. Let's tie it all together. The notion that Neanderthals made Europeans white isn't quite right. They added a few pieces to the puzzle, but the main picture, light skin in Europe, came from mutations in modern humans adapting to their new home. It's evolution doing its thing, tweaking us over generations to fit where we live. Neanderthals were part of that journey, but they weren't the ones steering the ship. Next time someone asks if Neanderthals made Europeans white, you can say, they helped a tiny bit, but mostly it was us figuring it out over time. That's what makes this stuff so fascinating. Our history is a big, messy mix of twists and turns, and science keeps peeling back the layers to show us how it all happened.